Now we have already covered religious creation and the Egyptian god Horus and his refabrication of his life throughout history. If you have not viewed our first three episodes, I suggest that you go and do so now, before viewing this any further. Now this refabrication is always given to different extraordinary men. Yes, all men. Most also ended up with some sort of male-dominant society, with no respect for nature or the universe as a whole. Most also had the mindset of the one and only God, and became the cause of mass bloodshed, death, and oppression upon human rights. Rulers would use these religions, and are documented to have changed religious texts to meet political agendas. Now, I would like to take a look at one such example. From the King James Bible, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. This caused a lot of women to be hung, burned, and drowned, and still causes followers of alternative faiths to be subjected to persecution today. The original Hebrew text back then said the same thing as it does today. Thou shalt not suffer a poisoner to live which meant a poisoner of the community, someone that brings ill will towards the society. In today's age, we just put them in jail and call them criminals.